Welcome to Next Level Intel. Microsoft Excel is a sophisticated piece of software, and it has some logic built into it, and it makes some assumptions based on the data that we input. Today, we're going to look at the autofill within Microsoft Excel to get a better understanding of it. So let's jump right in. So we're starting off with the data table that we had in the last tutorial. And you'll see that I added some data here underneath unit, unit cost, and unit price. And I'm going to start adding some formulas to column K through N. And this table will auto-populate these formulas and drag them down to the bottom. And so in order to give you a better understanding of this, I have another sheet here. And you'll see that I have January spelled out, January abbreviated. And so Microsoft Excel makes some assumptions based on the data that's input. So in the corner, once you get the crosshairs, if you click and drag down, you'll see that Microsoft Excel is populating. And once it gets to December, it will actually just start back over again at January. Same thing with the abbreviation. And so you can also select more than one and if you go down here where the crosshairs are and you drag down again, you'll see that Microsoft Excel does the same thing. Now, with numbers, it's a little bit different because if I was to just drag down 2018, Microsoft Excel would just copy it. So I'm going to delete that real quick and I'm going to add 2019. But if it sees a trend, so I've selected 2018 and 2019 and now I am dragging down and you will see that Microsoft Excel auto populate the following year. Same thing with the number one, it's just gonna copy it. I wanna show you real quick, if you select and grab and highlight and you go down to where the crossbars are and you double click, you don't have to drag. It will actually just autofill everything straight down. Now with just words, it is just going to copy. Now if you have a word with a number after it, it will actually do the same thing. You can see as I drag down here, it adds numeric values in ascending order. Now I can actually click this little box here and it gives me some options, and we can talk about the other ones at a later date, but I can actually select copy cells, and it will change them all back to the number one. So it assumed that we wanted to fill a series, but in this instance, I just want to copy it down. And so this doesn't have to be in columns going downward, that you can actually select January and scroll to the right, and it does the same thing. If you have numbers, such as the number one, and two and you select and hold and grab those and you actually go upward it makes an assumption to go in descending order with numbers real quick I'll show you you can do the same thing all right so before we jump back over and start looking at the data table and see how it auto populates formulas I want to take a break we'll move into that tomorrow I don't want to make these too long because this is our mini series leading up to our first course if you haven't signed up on our website to become a beta tester please go to www.nextlevelintel.com it'll truly help us out thank you and God bless